Hey guys, Jarrell here, back with our reactions to the 100. We're on to a brand new season. It's taken a little bit of time for me to be able to get hold of this, hence I think there's been just over a week or so delay. A couple of episodes that would normally be posted haven't till I got hold of it. Anyway, we are back with it. Season 6, episode 1, no recap. We've done everything that we need to do. Earth's gone. It's 100 and whatever years later, a complete reset. What are they going to learn from their mistakes? Let's go find out. I hope we do better there. I hope your lives there will be as happy as mine has been. Be the good guys. May we meet again. May we meet again. Meet again. You know this is a lot to process. Take an hour and meet in the mess. My dad wanted me to give this to you. The stuff Bellamy is on Octavia. Exactly. The first generation induces coma. He was hoping you could use it to save Kane. Bottom line is, we won't know if it's survivable until we get down there. How long ago did Allegis III get here? Hard to tell since they never radioed back, but best estimate, 200 years, give or take. Let's talk about guns. If we have them, we'll use them. We're taking guns. We're also taking non-lethals. Now, Allegis IV had gas grenades and shock batons to control the criminals. We won't shoot first this time. Here we go again. God, I hate sending you to the ground. Now I know how it feels. Go save Kane. Go save us all. Looks like an Aurora. What the hell? Aurora's format magnetic poles. Does that look like a pole to you? No. Boys and girls, me Planet Alpha. That's a crap name. This seems familiar. Been here before. Please be breathable. Please be breathable. Please be breathable. How long does it take to work? You tell me. You were with Bellamy when he used it on Blood Reno. How many Sky Crew left? How much do we need? Wake them all. Everyone but Octavia. Pint each. Copy that. What the hell? Alpha's not a planet. It's a moon. It's a moon. Mom and Dad would have loved this. I'm clean now. For how long? I bet you're already thinking about your next dose. My mother may have been a drunk who sold herself for booze. She never hurt me. She never used me. She sure as hell never tortured me. No. You haven't done what I think, you f***ing idiot. Where's my brother? Looks like the suns are eclipsing. Oh my god. We're aliens. Yes, you are. You're the alien life. <laughs> You're the ones who don't belong here. We both did things in the bunker. No, I did things. You didn't stop things. One more time. Allegis Ford, this is Expedition One. Raven, do you read? I'm sorry I turned you in, Shaw. You really want to do this now? Maybe you two should speak in private. No, I want you all to hear this. For some reason, Monty thought we deserved a second chance. Not for nothing, but this is like your fifth chance. Yours too, Murphy. <clears throat> your friend Monty gave you a second chance, but now what? You hear that? No. What happened to all the bugs? You guys gotta see this. Five minutes ago, this thing ate a leaf out of my hand. Oh, he's now agitated. Now it wants to eat meat. Not only that, its entire physiology has changed from... What the hell is that? I can hear that. That sounds like a swarm. That is a swarm. Swarm. It's coming from the direction of the ship. We'll never make it back. Everyone, cover up! Take the plan out of my head! Hurry up! They hate the fire! What the hell is that? Here! Here! Whoa! What the? Oh my god, there's some sort of beacons. 
You don't know what? Well, whoever the colonists originally were, they obviously erected this. Oh my god, he's screwed. So Reverie, she deserves happiness. She doesn't think she does, but she does. If he wakes up, he's gonna be in pain. Did you move the pain meds? No. They're right there. Tabellamy told me to take care of this ship. That's what I'm doing. By keeping essential medicine for Marcus. So Kane's awake? That's why you're here, right? Or maybe you're just checking your stash. What are we gonna tell Raven? He died a hero. Look, I do hate to make this about us. But then we... don't. Shaw just saved your life, Murphy. I'm aware. Also, whether we just lost our pilot. Ignore him. Yeah, your Red Queen's still up there, too, Miller. Who are you gonna follow now? Hey, hey! <laughs> Miller, as therapeutic as it is to beat up on Murphy, the more we can fly. Guys, stairs! Easy. We approach slow, no hostile move. What are you saying? What the hell? Allie? I hope not. Becca did the tech for Allegis. The people's homes. We're not breaking in like thieves. Bellamy's right. If we want to do better here, we can't be just... Wow, look at that. This one's unlocked. Blood. Legion 3. All named Lightborn. <laughs> You're gonna like this. <laughs> There's another layer. Bit of a shock. We sent an exploratory team down there. I mean, everything we did, everything that happened, happened so we could get here. Where's Nyla? Waking people she shouldn't have, apparently. She needed my blood to save the life of a traitor. Oh, don't start this bollocks again. You think you're better than me, Kane? We lost 417 people in that gorge. I wonder how your friend Jaha would feel about that. You led them to the slaughter. It was only a slaughter because you betrayed us. I was promised that you'd be allowed to surrender. That they'd work out terms for sharing the valley. You were promised? The cannibal doctor and the man she loves even after he floated her husband. Are you through? The man who caused 300 of his own people to die on the Ark when the ground was survivable. You didn't have to burn down the farm. You did that for power. She did. For vanity. Wait! Oh. Marcus! He's coughing up blood. Marcus! Nyla! What can I do? The sutures didn't hold. There's no more algae. He won't survive another surgery. His fight is over. She's probably back in cryo freeze. That's all you can do for now. So any guesses where all the people went? This place is too well maintained to be abandoned. That's what I said. Maybe. Echo, come here. Clark, did you read this? No. Trees and plants you give us shade, we eat them every day. The stars align and the forest wakes. It's time to run away. But 
two days having his hell. It's not a nursery rhyme. No. It's a warning. Sewage. They're stealing our ship! Is that where they are? I will not let you kill me! Oh no. It's in the air. Right, okay. That was episode one of season six, and I'm not sure how to take that. That didn't feel like the 100. I don't know why, for some reason it just didn't. Um, so there's something in the air that clearly makes them go insane. Okay, I suppose I just have to accept that. Makes no sense whatsoever. And completely doesn't explain why once the red sun... I'm presuming it means by the red sun, it means when it's eclipsed like that. Because that's only just started to happen. That something happens with the atmosphere that makes you go mad. That, that just sounds like... Well, made up made by the writers because they didn't know what else to do i don't know um scientifically that makes no sense unless there is an explanation for it but so far that just doesn't seem to fit at all um the fact that the place was abandoned and so well kept tells you there are survivors here and I think they've hidden away because of the, they saw you come down in that ship and that could possibly now be whoever has just got in it and flown off in it. So you've got a huge problem here now because there are survivors, they know about you, you don't know about them and you are now completely stranded here and you cut off from the mother ship as well because the radios don't work and Raven's not got them working. They also don't know that they're on a moon, not a planet. It seems a little bit disjointed at the moment. Right, my main concern here is we all know what everybody's done. We all know their past. But at some point, just like the conversation Quark and Bellamy have just had there, they've both done stuff to each other and they're not at each other's throat. They know this is possible chance of a new beginning a new start you're all now in effect 150 years old or more you're on an alien moon light years away from earth where you were if that's not a good reason to start again and just let everything that's gone go i don't know what it is and then you get nyla goes and wakes the bitch from sorry the uh, octavia <laughs> And she just jumps straight back into it like it's the day after and they're still there. I hate to have to say this, guys. But I think the Octavia character needs to go. Needs to be written out, finished off, dead and buried. Because she's got that much hatred and disgust for everyone and everything around her because her rise to power was what's the word um, it was so fast she was forced into that position she accepted the position but then when things didn't go to plan and she started to have to become the bad guy she now enjoys being the bad guy she likes being the devil and there's no way back for it. I mean, Kane was a lot, was awake for like two minutes there, and she is going at him like God knows what, and that was just completely uncalled for. I know Kane's done stuff, Abby's done stuff, Octavia's done stuff, everybody. Not no one here is innocent. There are no good guys. That is what this show is about, isn't it? But there's no coming back for Octavia. And I think, really, they should have... Possibly at the end of season five, had it that she died. 
back, you know, in the, um, when they got pinned down in the gorge thing. I think they should have just finished it off there. Unless this season is about her turning things around and turning her life around and having some sort of redemption. If it's not, and it just carries on like that, um, I'm not sure I'm going to be too happy about that because you're just repeating the same thing over and over now um, just for somewhere to go with it. I had heard there is mixed reviews on this season and some people love it and some people hate it. So far on that opening episode, I'm not sure exactly because it's one episode. The volley just got here. The volley just landed. We don't know anything yet, but I've got a vibe of things not being quite right. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. It was relatively interesting, but I'll be honest, it's not holding my attention like what every other season did. And that's just the opening episode. And I think, oh, there's something in the air that makes people go crazy. That's a cop out. That's what can we do that we haven't done. That didn't feel like the hundred to me. Maybe it's because we are away from Earth and we are away from the post-apocalyptic world inside of things that we all like and love about the show. But it's always been very gritty and realistic. And half of that show just looked like it's been done on a green screen poorly. Sorry, but it does. Um, that's... That's my take on episode one, season six, guys. We will see what happens in the next episode. But unless everyone, Octavia included, starts to understand and realize that they need to build bridges and either forgive one another or walk away from one another. Because if you're just going to get picked up off one planet, dropped on another planet and just carry on exactly as you were, then it's pointless. Totally pointless. Right, I should be back for episode two in the next couple of days. I'm interested to see episode two to see where it starts to go from here. Um, I want to know who's just took the ship and why is it that suddenly people go crazy? For what reason? What is it that suddenly disperses in the air that's not there before? Are they going to explain that or are the, are the writers just going to mash over it i don't know right okay guys that was episode one i will see you for episode two very soon till then please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it uh put your comments down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe see you for episode two a few days take care